What's going on guys, it's Pry here and I wanna focus on in this video is Himawari, Boruto's little sister and her potentially being the strongest character naturally in Boruto. And when I say naturally, I mean like she has no amp, she's just working off her regular Byakugan, regular Dojutsu power and it's just a different breed compared to everybody else of her age and even higher than that. And the reason I say this, if you haven't read the chapter, spoiler ahead, obviously, but Damon is talking about how he thinks that everybody in the village is essentially trash. Naruto, Boruto, Kawaki, all the Jonins, everybody that he has looked at, garbage in his eyes. Can't even put up a decent fight. But as he is saying this and wishing for someone to actually be fun to fight against, he sensed a very particular strong power walk past the little store that they're in. The person that's walking turns out to be Himawari, probably going back to our house with some groceries. But even though Damon looks and finds out who it is, he is still certain that this person is that strong energy. And he even goes to attack her, only to find out that, you know, she shies away and, you know, actually doesn't dodge the attack. She looked like she was gonna actually just take it. And he's shocked by this, was so certain that she was gonna dodge it at some point, even though it's Damon we're talking about. Dude that like one tap Boruto and Kawaki in one shot. Oh, also Cole. Dude that one tapped all of them, pretty much. He was 100% certain that she was gonna dodge his attack but she did and then Boruto comes out and you know pretty much says she doesn't know what she's doing she's not officially a shinobi she, you know she's weak this that and the other and Damon is still not 100% certain that she is weak she only seems weak but she had a certain energy about her a certain intensity about her and this actually brings up all the old arguments on how strong Himawari is I mean we know she's strong she has to be our gun and she's Hinata's daughter and Naruto's daughter but we all know how strong Hinata was at a young age so much so that after a little bit of training she pretty much caught up to Neji a prodigy and became almost a super prodigy herself but at some point you know she got left in the dust when Rinnegan and Sage Mode came into the picture and you know you had to be stronger than both those things Hinata actually just could not keep up with all of that but Himawari though Himawari actually has been seen on multiple occasions to at least surprise people that are, should be multiple leagues above her and yet they're not or at least not as much as they thought they were and with this little chapter here that we've gotten it's only been reaffirmed that, that Himawari is actually one of the strongest or at least potentially one of the strongest that the Naruto verse has probably ever seen at least naturally or maybe not naturally you see there's a little theory in my head that Himawari has a good portion of the nine tails chakra in her as we all know everyone that has at least accumulated some nine tails energy or at least been imbued with nine tails energy grows whiskers on their face we see it with the gold and silver brothers when they were in the nine tails stomach for like weeks we see it with naruto who was born from a jinchuriki and we see it with boruto and Himawari, who again their parent is a jinchuriki my speculation is the intensity that he has felt is the hidden latent powers of whatever the energy that the nine tails gave to him because it wouldn't be a stretch to say that the nine tails gave a little bit of his chakra to protect his children in the future and to give his children all the advantages that they could possibly need when they become grown-ups and you know have to fight their own battles without naruto Kuruma is just that type of dude like he cares about naruto he cares about naruto's family even so much as to give a pep talk to kawaki who was a new addition to the family it's not really a stress to say that kuruma gave a little bit of his power to Himawari and Boruto but the reason that Boruto hasn't shown any signs of it is because Boruto has a lot going for him like he has a lot of other things not only is he genetically remodified to be an Otsutsuki member but he also has the Kamar mark that also gives him a massive amp so he pretty much got all of Momoshiki powers a tail beast is pretty much just a transformed Otsutsuki member so Boruto already got a lot more than what Kuruma could have offered him. Himawari though is just working off of her natural prowess and her natural talents. Again, we see how naturally gifted that she is, but now we have confirmed that there is something else going on with her. So much so that it gave the smoke demon Damon pause and made him wonder how strong she actually is. And this whole chapter pretty much set a precedence for the future chapters, like what's going to happen next. Thanks to what Boruto says about how Himawari only gets really scary when she's really angry, we might be seeing some crazy things in the future relatively soon. Seeing how at the end of this chapter, big spoiler, but you probably know by now, at the end of this chapter, Kawaki sends both Naruto and Hanada 
into another dimension. Until they are found and brought back either by Boruto or Kawaki, they're gone and Himawari is on her way to the house right now. So she might pop off immediately and do some wild things. I don't know what's going to happen. We might see in the next chapter, we might see Kawaki versus Himawari. And look, he doesn't want to hurt the poor kid. But at the same time, she might actually put up a good amount of fight given the reaction that Damon had against her. Again, Damon saw Kawaki and was like, he's trash. Damon saw Himawari and was like, that's a fight. So at the end of the day, Power Scaling is definitely weird in Boruto. I'm going to chalk it up to she has the potential and not that she's just the strongest. That's what I'm going to say about it. Because, you know, that's what makes sense to me. I don't want a small kid to just one tap the person that is stronger than Jigen. All right. I don't, I don't want to see that, truthfully. But, hey, maybe one day she'll be there is all I'm saying. She has the potential. But, hey, who knows? Power scaling is a little weird in Boruto. A little off. So that is what it is. That's the end of the video. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you think you think Himawari has like the hidden latent powers of all the tail beasts or something in her body? And that's why she's like super strong secretively. Or maybe you think that she has no tail beast energy and she's just like gifted. I don't know. Let me know down below. Oh, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Appreciate it.